Jason Berendorf, thanks so much for joining us. First and foremost, welcome to Middle Sex. Thank you. Yeah, it's nice to be here. As you can see, it's a beautiful English day and uh, welcoming me right at home. It's nice. You landed on Saturday, uh, moved into a place in London. How have you settled in? Yeah, very nicely. Um, very central spot, which is great. Um, and then, yeah, starting to find my bearings and find the local cafe and, and things like that. So it's been really nice so far. You mentioned the weather. You're here for training at Merchant Taylor's today. We've got some white ball range hitting and some bowling going on. Obviously curtailed for the time being, given the weather, but how's the ball coming out for you? Yeah, quite nicely. So I was fortunate to actually get a, a few overs out before the rain came. And um, yeah, after spending some time on the flights and getting time zone and all that sort of thing, it's, I was ple pleasantly surprised. So yeah, it was really nice. Good stuff. Well, you've joined us, Jason, from the IPL where you've uh, spent the last six weeks with Royal Challengers Bangalore. How frustrating a time has that been for you whilst obviously the side got to the Eliminators? You obviously missed out yourself on, on any game time. Yeah, well, that's the thing you always want to play. Um, but the credit to RCB, their communication was excellent. So I knew exactly where I stood and, and when an opportunity would come, if it did, uh, sort of how it would come about. Um, obviously, Josh Hazelwood was the main um, strike overseas fast bowler and, and he was doing a great job. So didn't really open up a position for me, unfortunately. But um, again, great to be around another group, an elite setup. Um, we had a lot of fun as well. So it was, it was a pretty good time. You joined up with the Middletex boys today. How have you settled into the unit? What do they seem like to you? They seem like a great bunch of fellas. Um, a young group as well and, and a group that's really excited about their T20 cricket. So I had a little chat this morning about how the last game went against Glamorgan and um, just watching. I think yeah, it's nice to see the energy within the group, guys taking the game on and, and starting to think really positively and proactively about T20 cricket. So I can't wait to get stuck in with them. Good stuff. I mentioned the IPL, Jason. Prior to that, obviously, you were over at the Big Bash with uh, with your side, Perth Scorchers, all the way to the final, lifted the trophy. A man who we know very well is the head coach down there, Adam Voges. Did you have a chat with Vogsy about heading over to Middlesex and what were his thoughts? Yeah, I did. Um, like you said, we had a successful Big Bash campaign, which was really nice. And then, yeah, briefly, it all, all happened really quickly. So between um, I was getting almost ready to come home after the IPL, get a phone call saying, do you want to come here instead? And and yeah, so I clicked a quick message to Vogsy saying, look, this is an opportunity I'm keen to take up. And he was pretty happy for me to come over. He said, yeah, it's a, a wonderful place, wonderful club. And he said he'll probably have a decent time in London too. So <laughs> yeah, no, I'm really looking forward to it. Good stuff. He sorely missed since he went. He's a smashing fellow, Adam. Um, just in terms of the future for you, we've obviously got a couple of games uh, away, one down in Hove, one down in Kent. I'm assuming you'll be in the mix for the start down in Hove. You'll then be back at Radlett. Um, I know you've trained here with Australia at Merchant Taylors. Ever played at Radlett? Ever seen the ground? Well, I saw the ground the other day, um, so I just popped out there for a bit of a watch um, in the game against Glamorgan, but never played there, and certainly looks like there's a few little undulations in the outfield, so might not attack the ball as, as quick as we have done uh, at other grounds, but it's a, a good exponent of, of T20 cricket again, like the boys were talking about it today, playing the conditions well at each ground. Um, yeah, there's a short side, but having plans to navigate that. Um, yeah, so it's it's been really positive, the chats we've had so far. So like I said, I, I can't wait to get stuck in. Good stuff. And then it'll be back to a ground that you're a little bit more familiar with. You're back at the home of cricket, back at Lords. You've obviously played there with Australia. You've had a huge amount of success there. I think the last time you played there, you got a five wicket haul. You must be looking forward to calling Lords your home. Yeah, it's one of the, the greatest grounds in the world. So um, that was a, a massive thing when the, the phone call th came through to play some more cricket at Lords and and spend a summer in London, it was almost like, a, how quick can I say yes? So, yeah, really looking forward to that. It's a beautiful place to play. Um, yeah, and I'm just really excited. Good stuff. One final one, Jason. Middlesex members excited about you joining naturally. What have they got to look forward to? Well, hopefully a bit of swing and, and, and pace and bounce up front. Um, yeah, take a few wickets in the power play and, and really get the boys off to a good start. That's that's what I'd love to bring to the team. And, and hopefully you can see me having a bit of fun too. Um, like I said, it seems like a great group and they're having a lot of fun. So hopefully I can jump on those coattails and enjoy it as well. Fantastic. Well, with that mantra, I'm sure you'll fit in beautifully. Uh, very much looking forward to seeing you at home at Radlett on the 7th of June. And uh, good luck down in uh, Kent and, uh, and also Sussex prior to that. Thank you so much.